When his girlfriend is kidnapped by an aging supervillain, Noah and his roommate Cody must unite a team of unorthodox superpowered citizens to not only rescue the girl, but stop the villain's plans of world domination. In Nobody's Hero, the latest novel from your boy Crypto Comics and the Lost Library. Available right now in digital and print form on Amazon.com. Hello, all you beautiful people in Webtown, and welcome back to Image Comics Appreciation Month on Crypto Comics Beta. Yeah. This is Death Blow issue number two. If you don't know what I'm talking about, this is by Jim Lee, baby. This is by Jim Lee. Yeah, that Jim Lee. The Jim Lee. Death Blow first appeared in Darker Image issue number one, the one and only Darker Image there ever was. You can check that out in the Image Comics playlist right here on Crypto Comics. After that, you're gonna wanna look at the uh, Death Blow issue number one itself, as opposed to the Darker Image issue number one. And then you'll be caught up to speed because we are going to deep dive here today into Death Blow by Jim Lee, Brandon Joy. And I mean, right off the bat, you see, you see the level of uh, talent in Jim Lee's hand as far back as 1993. He drew this and inked it himself. You also see these very, very modern, which were state-of-the-art, cutting-edge at the time, computerized colors. Love it. Love, the, love that computer coloring. Don't we all? Colors are by Joe Chiotto. My man, Joe Chiotto. Let me get a self-high-five for Joe Chiotto. <claps> Woo! Somewhere in McLean, Virginia, 2100 Eastern Standard Time, I was raised a patriot trained as a soldier, and became a killer. Help! Somebody help me! Please! Shut up, your mother! To do a job most people don't have to do, and are glad they don't do it. Because you'd have to be insane to want it in the first place. But that's what it takes to deal with the enemy in these kinds of situations. What? Stay back, asshole, or I'll please help! Controlled insanity. It's the only thing that'll get you through the kill house alive. Bro, 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 bro. Shoot first, ask questions later. I crank off a pair of double taps without a second thought. And always make sure it's two shots to the head. Because it's the only way to be sure. The hollow points just put holes in the combat targets. But there won't be anything left above the shoulders on any person on the receiving end. Three more of them behind me. I toss a flashbang grenade. Boom! Clack, clack, clack. Now I've got two seconds. To make six shots. Done. This comic looks dope, man. This comic looks dope. How did it take? How come Jim Lee couldn't draw more than one of these every six months? That's what I want to know. It was very sparse and very minimal. Could have got somebody else to do uh, the inks, even. Man, well, we're gonna we're gonna get into it here. And three corpses. Oh, oh, let me let me give it to y'all. Now I've got two seconds to make six shots and three corpses. Nice. Rescue operation successful. Five hostiles neutralized. Hostage unharmed. Kill house sequence complete. Bravo, Mikey. You're a real grim reaper. Travis. The man started out as a spook with I.O. But one day he got tired of being a desk jockey in the puzzle palace and decided to become an operator. You spying on me, Travis? Old habits die hard, you know. So what is it you want? Just the truth, my man. I mean, isn't that what you were looking for at the church tonight? Again, back issue bins, Image Comics playlist, Death Blow. One and two, Darker Image and Death Blow. After stints at Camp Piercy and Fort Bragg, along with some healthy doses of steroids, he became a natural-born killer. Now he's IO's control officer with the SOG teams and a regular pain in the ass. That's probably why he's my best friend. Talk about the blind leading the blind. I don't know what you're talking about. How about those x-rays then? This what suddenly made you into an altar boy, Mikey? That's a nasty little thing you got growing in there. The doc says it's gonna kill you. You know, it's probably the only thing that can. You see, I'm just here to make sure you're up for this mission. I only want charmed people around me. Why didn't he make these so they balance more? I don't, that's weird. Why? why? It's a weird choice, Jim Lee. If you're watching this, Jim Lee, you need to tell me in the comments below. Brandon Choi, you might know too. Let me know. I got no problems working with a dead man. I mean, we've all got to do it sometimes, right? 
What I don't need is a guilty conscience messing with my operation. Capiche? But I gotta hand it to you, man. Nobody else could have taken those boys out the way you did down in Costa Mesa. I guess it's just time to pay the devil his due. No! I had my orders. It was either them or me. Please, God, just give me one more chance. Look at this artwork. This is amazing. If you can draw like this, you should do a comic like this. People would, people would buy this. You'd probably crank it out in a month, too, pretty easily. If you had, your own, if you had an inker. 2200 Eastern Standard Time. IO Tactical Operations Room. All right, gentlemen, it's time to get down to business. So what's it gonna be, Jack? Another full mission profile? Or do we get to see some real action this time? It's the real McCoy this time, Agent Trickle. Your target will be the Iraqi Intelligence Center. Pennsylvania Avenue has decided to teach Kusain a lesson in the politics of power. Now they call him Kusain, you know, instead of Saddam Hussein, he's Kusain. But we, we can pretend it's Saddam Hussein if you guys want, you know, I, I think we could. Your SOG team will be haloed into the area at night. That's a high altitude, low opening parachute drop. You're getting haloed. Well, it is considered a hard target. You should meet minimal resistance according to our sources. Infiltrate the building, inflict maximum casualties, and confiscate any available information concerning Iraqi's weapon systems. You'll then radio coordinates for an airstrike on the building just prior to your departure. It should provide an adequate diversion for your exfiltration. And so we got, we got Jack Lynch here, who we all know from the Gen 13 stuff we've been covering here on Crypto Comics in the past. He's a deep. He was also in the Wildcats we just covered, too. So uh, the Homage Studios, then it became Wildstorm Studios. That, the whole world is um, very deep, rich, lush, overarching, if you will. All that and a paycheck, too. What more could a man ask for? My sentiments exactly, Commander Cray. The airstrike's meant to cover our tracks and Lynch's ass in case we don't make it out. The man always likes to make sure there's credible deniability. Look, Mr. Lynch, I can take him in myself on this one. I don't think Cray's up for this hop. You're in charge of the operation, Travis, but Cray runs the team. Besides, he's still the best operator you've got. Cray goes. That concludes this meeting. From here, you'll be taken to MacDill Air Force Base for your equipment. The first special operations wing will ferry and then drop you at the target site. After that, you're all on your own. Do the deed, gentlemen. And then, and then, you know, the first time your boy Crypto read this, he got really confused and just thought this was an advertisement and thought like, wow, what is, what is happening in Death Blow here? This is different. This is, this is really different. What, this is like a different world or something? And, and where's Death Blow going to come in at? And like, this freaks are in here and, whoa, this is kind of crazy looking, right? And. You just, oh, eventually you kind of realize, like, wait, this isn't, this doesn't make sense. Where's Death Blow? Is he going to come in here and you keep going and you keep going and you, and you get a nice little picture there. You keep going and you get, you know, like that Death Blow poster right there. And then, and then you keep going and you keep going. You got a lot of, oh, you can win that Mortal Kombat coin op arcade. That's cool. You get that Gen 13 plug right there? Yeah, right? That was, a, that was the old one. It used to say Gen X in the original uh, coming soon preview. And then it changed. Uh, Deathmate Black, finally coming out. The Art of Homage Studios. We've covered both of these. These are both in the Image Comics playlist. Check those out. It's coming. It's all coming. Okay? Little, little, little fun surprise. Your boy Crypto has. Figured out for the future. Just bear with us. Wildcats well, issue five. We're going to cover that soon. Ooh, Killer Instinct. First ever Homage Studios crossover. We are going to cover this also. And then you get an upside down page and you're like, what? What is this? And you turn it over and you're like, oh, it's Nick Manabat's Cybernary issue two. But they printed it this way. And so you get confused and realize that none of this had anything to do with Death Blow. <laughs> You're like, you mean I bought this comic and all I got was like these pages? How many pages did I even get? 12? I at least get 16 pages. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I got nine pages of the comic I wanted to read. 
You believe that? Nine pages. And so then you go out and you buy and you buy that issue three. And you're like, okay, here we go. We got an awesome cover by Jim Lee. You know, these, this cover's great, right? Right? You open it up and you're gonna read issue three and you're like, okay, cool. And kind of notice like things kind of look different, right? And you realize like this is, I mean, it's they try to, they inking it the same way, but is that Jim? No, that's not really Jim. Is, am, I, am I reading a comic by Jim Lee still? It's trying to be a comic by Jim Lee. Is that Jim Lee? It's eyes are like, is that a catfish? Hmm, They're inking it the same, you know? Like, it's, it's kind of looking cool. Like, there's something, something's different here, though. For sure, something's different. And then, you know, you get, oh, yeah, Gen 13. And you get, oh, another pin up. That's a nice one right there, isn't it? Yeah, another piece of Jim Lee art for sure. So that's Jim Lee there. And then, you, oh, then you get to the, more of that cybernary stuff, right? And oh, I put the camera up the, on there the wrong way again. And uh, you're like, wait, Tim, Tim Sale? What? Wait a second. Art by Tim Sale, but... But see, you would you would have bought issue Darker Image and issue one and issue well, okay, maybe not you, but me. I bought one and two, and I was like, I want more of this. And so then I went and I and I bought more of it, right? Look at that! Like, th don't these look awesome? You wanna you wanna own these, right? And then check this out, right? Then like, there's this special cover, and these all go together. I'll show you guys this in the future here on Crypto Comics. This is issue number five of Death Blow, you know. And then like you got like you got an issue six here that looks totally awesome. And you got an, an issue seven and you're like, what? There's like a nun in this? What are we talking about? And you get like an issue eight and you're like, okay, okay, this is like really cool. This is maybe the culmination of the whole like first story arc you're thinking. And you're like, okay, but then I'll buy, I'll just buy one more at the, at the comic shop just to make sure. And you know, because like, I like all this Jim Lee stuff and, and then you just, you start going through them and, um, it's, uh, it's not. Oh, there's more of that cybernary stuff by Nick Manabat. God rest his soul. There's some a piece of art there, but it's still trying to be Jim Lee ink style, right? It's still trying to have that same vibe, but he gets some. It's just like uh, John Malkovich and the Messenger by Luke Besson, starring Mila Jovovich. He's got this My Sweet Dufon haircut and uh, some Arabs and. and Starts to take on this religious angle, and it's kind of wonky to me. Really wonky to me, because we were having a espionage, and then some vampires or maybe they're demons show up, and rise my minions our time has come the reign of blood and darkness begins today together we shall take our vengeance upon the order of the cross and then transform this world into a charnel wasteland check it out mikey looks like all hell's just broken loose down there okay okay and you know and you keep and you keep going the awesome cover right there this is by wills portasio you can see you got maul and and void there from Wildcats in the background because, you know, it's going to all spread out. It's, it's amazing. I can't wait to get to it. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, this is looking okay. And you start to go through this comic and, like, the style of the comic starts to change. And to me, it's not for the better. And you'll have some shots that look good, but then this is just kind of wonky to me. I don't know. This is all... Just not doing anything for me, and nothing. And but they they tricked me, right? Because I thought I was gonna get some comics drawn by Jim Lee, and I thought, well, maybe I'm just gonna get like ten to twelve issue, twelve to ten pages per comic. And so I'll buy I'll buy a few of them and see if I can get like the first story arc and see what's going on here. And it turns out it's actually all drawn by Tim Sale, and um, this isn't so bad, you know. It's just not good to me and I'm sure that a lot of Tim Sale fans are going to be mad and I like Tim Sale's other stuff but this really rubbed me the wrong way as I went through it and uh the more religious it got and it's weird because I am a religious person and so you'd think that I would enjoy it but I was interested in this espionage 
secret covert op story, and now it's totally Frank Miller's Sin City over here. And then it's got the weird vampire demons. Master, Herod reports that the first phase is proceeding as planned. He has located the host bodies for the horsemen and sent a cadre of your servants to retrieve them tonight. Herod's also tracked down this Fremont Hotel where the miracle child is hidden and is on his way there with a team of men. Excellent. Tell him to position his team and await the arrival of the protective escort sent by the order to bring the nun and the child to its stronghold. Looks like trouble up ahead, master. Hardly. Excuse me, gentlemen, but I'll need to see your passports. Everything is in order. We are free to pass. Yes, free to pass. Bob, what are you doing? Your friend has become quite a nuisance. Kill him. Kill him. No, don't! Boom! Oh my god, w what have I done? Only what you've always wanted to do, Bob. Surrender to your darkest desires. Join me. No, Ted was my friend. Pity. I thought there might have been hope for you. But since you mess your friend so much, I'll let you join in. Zarap! Okay. Oh, he's got some little rune stones there. Cute. And what's up with that neck? It's like that black dude in the mugshot. Okay, Toxic Avenger shows up in this comic book. That's cool. Look at how shittily drawn this is. What is this crap here? You know, I signed up for Jim Lee Deathblow. That's on the cover, right? It's on the cover. It's on the cover, but it's not on the inside. And I'm really mad and I'm gonna get rid of these stupid comics because I, I can't believe that this, this I was tricked so terribly by this. This is not the kind of artwork I want or I like. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. This is not gritty enough. It's just wanna be Sin City in an espionage vampires in trench coats world. Ugh. Ugh. So for, for the first time here on Image Comics Appreciation Month, I I am not very appreciative today. Ugh, look at that face. Just look at that face. Why? Why didn't you just, why didn't you just cross over with Warrior Nun Ariella? I just don't, why? Why do we have to create Sister Mary? The Black Angel. Hello, Michael. Just happened to be in the neighborhood, so I thought I'd drop in and say hello. I can feel his power. The evil permeates the very air around him. It's suffocating. And it just turns into something I don't even want to own. And I'm really mad because I paid like above cover price for these. These were not available for 50 cents each. I had to cross the bridge from the great state of Washington, which I can't even call it that anymore, to be honest. Um, I had to cross the bridge from the future great state of Jefferson into the state of Oregon and Portland, which is a state of mind and I had to buy these in Portland because it was the only place I could get them and it was at a comic shop it took me a long time to get to and it's a very old comic shop and I'm not a big fan of it because the guy there treats me like uh some schlub because I like to buy Rob Liefeld and Image Comics and so I, I try not to go there um but you know I had exhausted my other possibilities and I actually had to get a couple of them on mycomicshop.com and uh and I got the Jim Lee covers and I was so excited and so happy and it turns out, no, it was just a big screw job. Total friggin' screw job. Yeah, so major disappointment here today for me. And I won't be talking about Death Blow in the future, even though I wanted to, to be honest with you, because issue one and issue two and that darker image issue number one mini story were all awesome. But it's what we call a double trick, f right? You know, they trick me into thinking I'm buying Death Blow, and they end up giving me nine pages of Death Blow by Jim Lee, and then they give me Cybernary by Nick Manabat, which I didn't even really want. So yeah, this was uh, an unfortunate side effect of Jim Lee having a baby, apparently, was he could not deal with uh, drawing uh, Death Blow, you know? And you can tell because this issue two came out in August, and this issue three came out in February. So yeah. Sad news for me. I know there's a lot of Deathblow fans out there 
who are gonna dump on me in the comments below, and that's fine, I understand. You liked it and that's okay. But no, not me, I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not, all, I'm not for it. So if you want to, you can give this video a thumbs down. If you agree that Jim Lee should have kept drawing this, you need to give it a thumbs up though, right? If you're new, you need to subscribe, you need to hit that ding dong for notifications, you need to dive into the back of your shoe bins, but only after you've checked out my new book, it's called Nobody's Hero. It's all about a couple normal guys living in a world brimming with superheroes. And it's available right now in digital and print form on Amazon.com. When his girlfriend is kidnapped by an aging supervillain, Noah and his roommate Cody must unite a team of unorthodox superpowered citizens to not only rescue the girl, but stop the villain's plans of world domination. In Nobody's Hero, the latest novel from your boy Crypto Comics and The Lost Library. Available right now in digital and print form on Amazon.com.